Look, first dates when you're going to dinner, it's already awkward. You don't know the person. Tensions are high. Emotions are all over the place. You're trying to avoid awkward situations. There's a lot you can control. What you can control are your table manners. What you can control are the eight things that I'm going to talk about in this video so you make sure you have the best first date possible. Let's hop into this. One. You want to get to the date first. Look, I, this is one of those instances that being fashionably late is actually not fashionable. Like, if you're late, chances are she'll probably just leave you or have a horrible taste in her mouth the rest of the night. Like, once you start on, out on a bad foot, it is very, very hard to rescue that. So, if you're trying to make things go right, you either A, pick her up, which I probably don't recommend, or two, make sure you arrive to the date or location at least five minutes before. Or two, if you invite, you pay. And when I'm talking about you pay, I don't even want you to hesitate on the bill. If you told this chick, yo, let's go do this or X, Y, Z, when that bill comes, you don't even hesitate. You grab it, you put your credit card, you pay. Not only are you going to look like a boss, but it also shows determination and leadership given that you're the one that made that formal invitation and she's choosing to go out with you and accept that invitation. Now look, I usually only recommend this for the first or a couple first dates. I do think that if you're the one inviting, you should be the one paying. I might be a little bit old fashioned when it comes to that. However, on the longer scale, if you guys do start dating and now it's been two, three months and she still hasn't tried to pay a bill for you, that's a, that's a red flag. Number three, practice basic manners. Look, I'm not saying you should know every single table manner there is, but at least the basics. Like, don't chew with your mouth open. You're not a dog. Don't pick your teeth on the table. That's just disgusting. She ain't gonna wanna kiss you. When you grab your napkin, put it on your lap. And don't scrape or cling your cutlery as you're eating. You do these basics. These are the stuff that your mom's been telling you not to do. Do this, you're already starting out on a great foot. Number four, I'm gonna need you to stay off your phone. Most guys will use their phone as a crutch, as a social crutch when things get awkward. When you don't know what to talk about, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go out, hop on your phone and act as if you're busy, but one, you look dumb. Two, you're making her look awkward because you shouldn't be busy because you're with her. The point is that you want to give her attention. When she sees that, all she's going to assume is that A, this is an awkward kid, this date is awkward and I want to leave, and B, she doesn't even respect me. He doesn't even respect my time. This is why, look, when things get awkward, don't gravitate to your phone first. Instead, I've told you this before, I want you to memorize anywhere from five to ten good questions. You can hop online, look up questions that engage conversations, and I'm not talking about what's your favorite color, I'm talking about deep questions that really get that conversation flowing. So whenever there is that awkward period, you can easily go into that bank of questions and really get her to open up so you guys can connect on a deeper level. Number five, I want you to sit next to her and not in front of her. See, this is a tip that I like to deploy if you're very nervous. If you know you're going to be nervous, especially your first couple first dates, the worst thing you can do is sit right in front of this chick. Because when you're right in front of her, she's looking right at you. Like you don't have any time to breathe or to think, which makes you feel even more awkward. But if you both are sitting next to each other, look looking forward, you guys get a break, like a visual break, or at least you do, which gives you time to think. You don't feel as much pressure on you, and you can engage her. You're going to look more relaxed, more calm, more confident just by deploying this. Number six, you need to lead conversation and maintain strong eye contact. Look, first dates are awkward. Everybody knows this. Nobody expects anything less. You're going out with a complete stranger. So to counteract that, use good eye contact and lead conversations, especially with humor. See, when you have great eye contact, even if conversation is not awkward, she's still perceiving you as a confident dude. And then when you lead conversations with some humor, it kind of eases all that tension that you both are feeling, especially if you acknowledge what you both are going through at that moment. See, so many guys will feel awkward, get to an awkward silence, and they want to avoid the elephant in the room. And it's that you both are complete strangers and it's a little bit awkward. So you actually acknowledging, you both laughing about it, and then proceeding with one of the questions that I mentioned is a great way to lighten up the evening, you look confident, and you keep it rolling. Number seven, I need you to treat your service staff respectfully. One, it's your moral obligation. Everybody there, these aren't your personal servants. They're not your slaves. These are actual people on the other side. So when they're helping you out, you should be more than gracious. Even if they're not helping you out and they're having a bad day, don't curse them out. Don't talk bad about them because all she's going to see, this guy's a tool bag. This guy is full of vanity. 
That's the last thing you want. So on top of it being a moral obligation, it's the quickest way to ruin your date. And then finally, number eight, I'm gonna need you to drink slowly. Look, on that first date, the last thing you need to do is to get tipsy or drunk. You know your limits. Everybody has a different limit. Make sure you don't reach that on the first date. You don't want to get to this point because it's going to be ugly. And to be honest, it's not going to be the best first impression that you can leave on her. So when you're on that first date, if you both are drinking, make sure at least your side, you're keeping it slow, keeping it control. That control, that type of leadership, yeah, that, that, that'll be sexy. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. You do these eight simple rules. When you're on a first date, I promise you, you're going to knock it out the ballpark. That's it for your boy. See you next time.